<laughs> yeah. With us also from London, Jonathan Sachidati, I-24 News, European correspondent. Jonathan, I don't know the reactions right now. There's a flurry of information coming once again. We have not seen the deal supposedly coming. An announcement is coming in two hours. What is the reaction in Europe? And at the end of the day, there's a lot of money involved that Europe is waiting to funnel in and out of Iran. Isn't that the case? Absolutely the case. And until really this morning, Europe and UK in particular have been rather ignoring these negotiations going on Vienna. It's been something of a sideshow to what's been happening with Europe and Greece. Right. But of course, with this news breaking now, uh, the focus is shifting to what could be a world changing agreement. And as we hear now, we've got this Iranian diplomat suggesting that there is now a deal that has been struck. And then also an unnamed Western diplomat, as you just said there, <laughs> according to the Association. Press. So we're hearing these little leaks. People have been up all night following the news, a bit like an expectant father in a maternity ward, uh, every moment thinking something was about to arrive, but then discovering that it wasn't. However, the rumors now seem clear that it should be happening some point this morning. Again, the announcements are likely to be wrapped up, I'm hearing this morning, as Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov is keen to leave Vienna before noon. That doesn't necessarily mean it will take place before then, but with journalists being moved into a briefing room for a press conference. Right. Everything I'm hearing coming out of there is that this is imminent and that there is some sort of deal. Uh, what it is will remain to be seen. Will remain to be seen. Jonathan, thank you very much for that update. And tell Shalev 